Hey, how's it going? So I have an Android phone, but I use a Mac computer. So what's the easiest way to transfer files between an Android phone and a Macintosh computer? I'll show you. Hey, how's it going? Quick video, because nobody has time for videos. You gotta get back on your smartphone and your computers and look at all your social media stuff. But anyways, I want to make this video because it's handy for me. Maybe you're in this situation. So I have an Android smartphone, like I mentioned, product shot. This is a Samsung Galaxy S10. I'm not up to the latest smartphones. This one is still running really well. But I use a Macintosh for my desktop. I have a, a Mac Mini 2018. I also have a M1 MacBook Air. I use Final Cut Pro for all these videos. So that's my preference. I like smartphone, Android. I like computer, Mac. It's just the way it goes. Android and Apple, they don't want to work together. They're not friends, but they can. So there are ways to do it. The reason I wanted to look at this was sometimes I take large videos on my phone. I use Google Photos. It uploads the video if you have it synced to the cloud. It takes time for the videos to render and then you get a lesser quality unless you save it as full quality. And I think they still compress it. So you're, you're never getting the full quality video. So that was my main purpose. Really, really simple, costs nothing. Except you gotta, of course, buy your phone and your computers and cables and stuff like that. But the actual way to do it is totally free. So, so what you wanna do, you're gonna go to android.com. That's Android's official website. And you can look, you can go to slash file transfer or you can type it in. Or just Google Android file transfer and this will come up. And you're gonna get a DMG file, which, which is Apple's like EXE if you're from the Windows world. It's an executable, it's a package. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna open that up. So you're gonna install it. And you can see here, I'm gonna show you. An installation is kinda crazy. If you're from the Windows world, an installation on Mac is like, what, what are you doing? What is that? You just drag and drop into a thing? That's it? What are you doing? There you go, it's that simple. Now you're gonna take a USB-C connector, which is what I need for my phone. Plug it in to the stuff it says on screen. I don't know what it says right now. I'm not even looking at my computer. I'm just sitting here pretending. You may have to turn on developer mode on Android. Depends on what version of Android you have. There are ways to figure this out. I can't cover every Android phone. There's like a zillion. That's the uh, fragmentation issue with Android, right? Now you're good. You can drag and drop files. So I'm pulling photos from my phone and you can drag and drop them into your phone as well if you needed to. It's pretty simple. It works well. I like to use it. Are we having focus trouble here? That's it. It's that simple. There's nothing really crazy here. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. If you are new here, please subscribe and click a like if you did like the video, if this was helpful. All right, that's it for now. Take care.